Hi everyone, I am Mrs. DeForce. Join me in unlocking the secrets of life. Welcome to today's enlightening presentation where we explore the captivating world of microorganisms and their profound role in nature. Specifically, we'll be focusing on parasitism and the management of diseases. So if you can remember, symbiosis is a biological dance where two or more species share a close physical proximity, interacting in various ways. These interactions can be beneficial, harmful or neutral, and they're prevalent in the microbial world. Commensalism benefits one microorganism while leaving the other unaffected. Think of microbes on your skin as an example. Mutualism benefits both organisms. We discussed this in the previous lesson. So now let's dive into the darker side of symbiosis called parasitism. In this relationship, it is where one microorganism benefits at the expense of the host. Examples include the notorious coronavirus, TB causing bacteria, fungi causing athlete's foot, and the protozoa responsible for malaria. So parasites can cause three types of infections in people or in animals. We have the acute infection, which is usually short-lived. This is like flu, and you get over it. Then you have your chronic infections that can last weeks, months, or even a lifetime. And then you have the latent infections, which initially may not cause symptoms, but it reactivates over a period of months or years. So we need to know how to manage these diseases. Let's first look into viral infections. So viral infections, like the coronavirus, bring symptoms usually that include fever, muscle pain, coughing, a sore throat and headaches. The treatment involves antiviral medication. Sometimes they'll give you decongestants, antihistamines, some painkillers and fever reducers. Most cases, most, not all, will be resolved without any medical treatment. The rhinovirus is known as the common cold. It's a viral infection affecting the upper respiratory tract. Salmonella bacteria cause foodborne illnesses, leading to symptoms like diarrhea, fever, and abdominal cramp. Ringworm fungi results in skin infections characterized by red, itchy, and circular rashes on the skin or scalp. Giardiasis caused by the protozoa giardia is a waterborne infection leading to gastrointestinal symptoms such as diarrhea and abdominal cramps. Let's look into how can we manage bacterial infections. So bacterial infections such as TB exhibit symptoms which includes again fever, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, headaches and nausea. Treatment for most bacterial infections includes the use of antibiotics. Management includes decontaminating any surfaces and preventing direct contact or transfer. Hepatitis A is a viral infection affecting the liver, typically transmitted through contaminated food or water. Strep A, caused by Streptococcus, is a bacterium responsible for various infections, including strep throat and skin infections. Oh, thrush. Thrush is a fungal infection caused by candida. It results in white patches on the tongue and the mucous membranes of the mouth. And then a terrible one, African sleeping sickness. This is caused by a protozoan called trypanosoma and is transmitted by the tsetse fly, leading to neurological symptoms and disruptions in your wake and sleep cycles. So how do we manage fungal infections? Fungal infections like athlete's foot bring symptoms like irritation, scaly skin, redness, itching, swelling, and sometimes even blisters. Treatment would include antifungal agents applied directly onto the skin and taken orally. So we all are aware of HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. It's a viral infection that attacks the immune system, leading to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS, if it is left untreated. 
E. coli is a bacteria that can cause foodborne illnesses, urinary tract infections, and various gastrointestinal infections, especially in humans. Valley fever is unique. It's caused by a fungus, a type of coccidiodes. Oh, is a respiratory infection, typically contracted by inhaling fungal spores in arid or dry regions. And then we have Bellagia. Bellagia is a parasitic infection caused by schistosoma parasites and is transmitted through contact with contaminated water in regions leading to various symptoms affecting the liver, the intestines and other organs. This one is also one of those latent infections. So how do we manage protozoan infections? An example, a typical example would include malaria. Malaria symptoms range from abdominal pain and diarrhea to fever and swelling. Treatment involves medications inhibiting the growth and various life cycle stages of the protozoa. Management would also include destroying the vector that is responsible for the transmission of the protozoan. In summary, when trying to manage diseases, we can break it down into five separate categories. First up, managing the microorganisms. This involves treatment using antibiotics, antiretrovirals or antifungal agents. Next, we can actually control the vector that is responsible for transmitting the disease. So vector control includes eliminating flies, mosquitoes or ticks. Then we can address the source of infection. This would involve disinfecting or elimination, cleaning of the surfaces, sterilizing equipment. Then we can also look at the transmission mechanisms. This can be curbed by changing habits like wearing masks and washing our hands properly. And finally, for the affected host, to prevent spreading of a pandemic or an epidemic, we can group the people together to prevent the transmission to others. So understanding the intricate dance between microorganisms and their hosts is vital for maintaining the delicate balance of nature. By exploring these symbiotic relationships, we gain insight into not just the challenges, but also the potential solutions in managing diseases and preserving our ecosystems. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey. Want to dive deeper into life sciences? Check out more of our videos. Don't stop learning now. Explore more videos and download our worksheets for a complete learning experience. Links will be found below.